every town has different areas. Some areas that are more populated, some areas that are less, and depending upon your opinion, some areas that are safer than others. It's a big question I get asked all the time as a realtor. Is this neighborhood safe? And today I wanna to dive into how exactly you can figure that out when you're purchasing a home. In today's world of ample information, it is very common to want to know what's happening in the neighborhood that you live in. Is there anybody in the neighborhood who you need to be aware of? Or what's the crime rate? I get asked this question all the time. Is this neighborhood safe? And the disclaimer of today's video is the fact that I'm not allowed to tell you. Federal housing prevents me from deeming a neighborhood as safe or unsafe because it's an opinion. Something that I might deem as safe, somebody else might think, oh, I would never live there and vice versa. But I do have some tools that you can definitely use to make sure that you can check into the places you're wanting to move. The most common site that people go to is the sexual offender and sexual predator search. It will tell you where they live and how close they are to your house. And when you're choosing a neighborhood, I always give this advice. I always tell people, whether you live in Gainesville and want to search another neighborhood you know, or if you're coming from out of state, search your area, but put in a neighborhood that you would identify as a safe neighborhood. And look that up first. Then put in the neighborhood where you're thinking of buying the house. And you can compare apples to apples. Because maybe a neighborhood you deem as safe has had some crime, and if this neighborhood has also had some crime, it lets you see that not every neighborhood's perfect, but it can let you compare realistically based on your threshold of safety. And once you decided on a location, today is easier now than ever before to add security to your home with things like Simply Safe and Ring Doorbells or even a company like ADT Security. You can make sure that you set the perimeter to the level that you want it to be so that you and your family feel super safe in your home. But the bottom line is, there's no town or neighborhood that's perfect. So if you're doing searches online, don't let certain things alarm you. But it's really important to do your due diligence ahead of time, and your realtor should be able to provide for you the sites that you should go to. But they're not allowed to tell you what they think, because it's their opinion, and that is breaking the federal housing law. The safety of you and your family cannot be understated. And while we as realtors are not allowed to give our opinion, we are allowed to give you tons of sources that you can look through to make sure when you're moving to a new place that you feel safe, secure, and ready to move in with a smile on your face. Not only are we able to help you find the sources for the safety and security of your neighborhood, but we're also here to help you through inspection. There are some big red flags that you should be looking for, and I've got a phenomenal video that's gonna spell those out for you. I'm Lindsay Johnson, your resource for all things real estate. See you next time.